it was an issue that was blown out of proportion mm -hmm. when they knew. And, you know, like I said, we're on vacation and like we should be having a good time, not bickering over a little puppy that's well behaved and well trained. Well, hello, hello, Bria. Thank you so much for joining us today. Of course. Thank you for having me. I am super excited to be heading to Martha's Vineyard with the new Summer House crew. What was it like joining the show and suddenly having all these cameras in your faces? It was for me, it was like a dream come true. I grew up on reality TV, um, like Jersey Shore, mm -hmm. uh, the Playmate show, uh, Deion Sanders show, uh, the Kardashians. So I always wanted to be a part of uh, unscripted reality show where I can be myself, I can express myself, I can dress, have my dog, my man. And uh, so when the opportunity was pitched to me, I was so excited. I didn't know really much about Martha's Vineyard at the time. I didn't know the history, anything about it. And, uh, you know, I did my research and I'm like, oh, wow, like this is a great opportunity. And once I got there with the cameras and stuff, it was a little bit hard to adjust to the cameras and like going through the emotions of feeling sad, happy, uh, excited, uh, drunk. So it's like, um, I guess the biggest adjustment was just going through the motion of the up and down emotions. Um, like I said, it's unscripted. So everything is natural and you have to really try to like bounce back and get yourself together um, when you're feeling upset or, you know, something goes down. So yeah, exciting. <laughs> that is exciting. Now your reality TV fan, had you watched a bunch of Bravo shows before? Or is this kind of your like first Bravo foray? Um, so I'm a big fan of the Real Housewives. Of course, yeah. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, yeah. Real Housewives of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, I became a Summer House fan as well as a Winter House fan. So mm -hmm. um, I was watching more so the Housewives and then mm -hmm. I got into Summer House and yeah, I, I like it. It's it's fun. It's I love reality TV. So Bravo is the perfect network to watch all the reality TV on. I am right there with you. <laughs> so coming in for the summer, were there any nerves? Because, you know, like new people, new experience, cameras, all that. For me, I would say it's a little nerve wracking meeting some of the people that I never met before. Like I'm friends with the girls and um, Mariah was the one I was meeting for the first time and then a couple of the guys so, you know, you you are a little skeptical because you don't know if people are respectful. You're going to be in a house with people for a long amount of time. And I'm in a relationship and I wasn't sure if my boyfriend was going to come out. So I was kind of like, oh, God, like this might be a roller coaster. So I would say I did have a little a lot of nerves coming into um, meeting the new people and then also rekindling relationships with, uh, you know, the past girls that I had relationships with when we worked together. And how did it go? I mean, you know, just a couple words. Did you have fun? Was it uh, horrifying? Yeah, no, we had so much fun. You know, we had like we we did a lot of activities. We had a lot of outings. Um, we had our drama. We had our differences. Yeah. Um, I made bonds with Amir, Alex, Nick in my own little way. As far as the girls, I got to rekindle my relationship with um, Jordan. And a little bit with Jasmine, you know, you see some drama there. Yeah. Uh, Shanice is my best friend. She's like my sister. So we literally were like turning up the whole entire time that she was there. So no, it was great. You know, we, I could say the difference between the summer house and our Martha's Vineyard summer house is we did have a lot of outings. So you'll yeah. be seeing that um, I'm, regularly throughout the series. I'm super excited to see it. It looks like you had just a wonderful time. It looks like everyone really knows how to like party and have fun. Of course. No, it, it's, it, it's different. It's giving a flavor of everything. Um, you know, everyone has their different routines and dietary restrictions. So it's funny to like see people come out of their comfort zone and we come together as like a family and just have the most of it. We made the most of it. You know, like I said, we had a lot of differences and then my yeah. dog was with me as well. So it was fun to have him by my side on vacation, which he comes with me on every single vacation. So it was nice. Now, I know you mentioned a little bit of drama. Tell me a little bit about what went down. Who do you think was like the toughest to get along with this summer? Maybe the toughest to get along with this summer would have to be Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Um, and the drama was kind of uh, wrapped around my dog coming, which they knew he was yeah. coming. But some people like to forget things. Mm -hmm. um, it was an issue that was blown out of proportion mm -hmm. when they knew. And, you know, like I said, we're on vacation and like 
we should be having a good time, not bickering over a little puppy that's well-behaved and well-trained coming into the home. He's not bothering anybody. So it was, uh, you know, we had our difficult moments during the series and uh, you, you guys get, you'll get to see that. You'll get to see the moments um, as you could see in the trailer as well. So um, it was a lot that went down, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, where do you guys stand today? Are you cool? Is everyone cool at the end of the summer? Are you at looking forward to going summer, back? Everyone is cool. We're still in touch. We're very respectful of mm-hmm. each other. Like we're all adults, you know, and yeah. we have to, go on vacation and work together. So we are very respectful. We're not besties, but mm-hmm. we, you know, or associates, I guess you can say. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, you know, next year, hopefully with uh, with the next year of Summer House, who would you maybe bring in? Who would you maybe not send an RSVP to? I would love to bring in my boyfriend, hopefully mm-hmm. for full time. Uh, he mm-hmm. was awesome. Everyone loved him and you get to see you know, how he adapts to everyone and how everyone accepts him. And so that's great. Um, and I would also like to bring one of my other good friends in, you know, to have, I'll have Shanice and then another friend mm-hmm. that's a little bit more turned up and yeah. who could be there, you know, full time. So that would be nice. And my dog as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. He's got to be there. Forget about Milo. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone not getting the RSVP? Not that I know of, no. Good, good, good. Okay, I love it whenever we can all get back together the next year. Of course. Now, what are you excited for people who don't know you to see or to learn about you? To learn about me? Um, I guess people get to really see the real me a lot. I'm very private with my life and like people only know me through Instagram or through TikTok, but they don't really know much about me. And during the series, you get to see me, you know, in every way possible, like waking up early in the morning without makeup. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. Waking up oh, no. early in the morning without makeup, uh, you know, my hair messy, you yeah. know, me looking gr- glamorous, me crying, mm-hmm. me drunk. So you get to go through the motion of all these different, uh, I guess, versions of Bria and it's fun because people can see that I am human. Mm-hmm. I'm not perfect. And this is my life. And I'm putting it out to the world on vacation with my friends. And also they could see how I, you know, um, interact with my friends and what we go through. And we go through normal things and the jealousy and the hate and the drama. So they get to see everything. And it's all, like I said, it's real. It's It was draining at the end, but... Yeah. You need a vacation after the vacation. Yeah. Yes, you do. You kind of need to go away and just like put your phone somewhere, maybe leave it at home and just go and decompress after because, you know, it's it's testing when you go into a home and, you know, you go in with friends that you do know and people that you don't know and also um, trying to get along and to adapt in a new environment. You know, you're putting all these people and it. it's like being put in a luxury like cage and trying to get along <laughs> with each other. And uh, it's, it's hard, but we, we got through it. Is there anything that you're like, Oh God, like when people see this, I don't want them to feel blank uh, uh, about it. Anything that you want to tell people ahead of time to get out ahead of anything. I would say when Simon was uh, in the hot tub with Shanice and she was butt naked, like, I would say that it's not that big of a deal. Honestly, Mm -hmm. it's two different cultures. He's German and he's Mm -hmm. never lived in the States and he doesn't know like in the States, that's a no, no, but in Mm -hmm. Germany and different parts of Europe, it's okay for friends to be nude like that. Mm -hmm. And for him in his defense, I kind of um, forgot that, Oh, I'm dating a German man. He's traditionally used to this in the States. Like I was in my New York mindset where it's like, Oh no, that shit doesn't fly with me. Yeah. So uh, I just want people to be open minded that it is two different cultures and he's not a bad guy and he didn't cheat. Yeah. It's just it happened the way it happened and they will see. But yeah, be open minded to that. <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, a lot of people were had a lot to say and they called him like a cheater. And I'm like, no, oh, gosh, yeah, he didn't know. Like, he's very foreign. Like, he is so fo- like foreign, like, yeah straight foreign and like heavy accent he just doesn't know better like so he's like I thought it was cool I thought this was the norm like we go and we see our naked friends on the weekends like when we go to the spa because the spa is co-ed and it's naked Mm -hmm. and like everyone's free so he thought you know it's the same and I'm like oh no 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 (laughs) I'm like they should know better so um yeah just be a little 
minded to that um, when that comes up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, it sounds like this summer is filled with fun, filled with drama, oh, yeah. filled with a little nudity. Um, is there yes. anything else that you want fans to know before they tune into the premiere? Um, I would say to do the his or like a history lesson on Martha's Vineyard. You know, mm. a lot of people ask like, why did you choose that location? Which is also a network question. But I also believe it's because of the history and like mm. to have 12 black professionals uh, vacation in Oak Bluffs is very important. And it's kind of putting Oak Bluffs on the map because a lot of people don't really know. Like I didn't know, you know, I'm a normal girl who travels all around the world. I lived in the Hamptons. I lived everywhere. So for me, I didn't even know that it was a big part of black history. Mm -hmm. Um, so that would be great for people to, you know, research and understand the history before trying to judge why is it an all black cast? Why did Mm -hmm. they choose this vineyard, Mm -hmm. you know, and come up with different, um, speculations. So once they have a clear understanding of the history, they'll be able to understand the show and why we vacation there. I love it. Educational, fun. What a combo. (laughs) Of course. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. I cannot wait to watch the season. It looks like it's going to be so much fun. Thank you so much, Anna. I appreciate you having me.